Afternoon, Steve. One nil victory here at Invicta, at Folkestone Invicta. Another away win, which adds to your incredible record already. Um, some would say a very hard fought, scrappy game. Would you agree? Totally, yep. Um, <clears throat> I felt that, like when we went down to 10 men, uh, or yeah, against Dartford, we were the better side. They, they were the better side when they went down to 10 men. Yeah, we stopped doing what we were good at. Um, going down to nine men even made us play slower. Um, it's not what we wanted and played in their hands and no different what I would do. I'd sit everyone behind the ball and just try and get a free kick or a corner or a counter-attack to try and get the goal. So, all in all, not happy with our performance because I know we can do better, um, but very pleased with a win. Very pleased with a, coming to Folkestone. It's a tough side. Andy Drury, who I know well, has bought, bought a lot of good players in, experienced players, um, and, and they're going to be a tough team to beat for us to come here early, early doors and get a win. Nine men, 11 men, whatever, is three points, and that's, that's all that matters to us at the moment. I was going to say, you touched on the next question, which was going to be, it's the three points, but would you do you agree that the team would should necessarily have scored more goals? No, when it's, oh, you've got to give them credit. When they defend as they defended um, and nullified everything we tried to do, you've got to give them credit, whether they had eight men, nine men, 11 men. So I'm never run away with myself and say, we should do this, should do that. Disappointed in our ball speed, disappointed in our detail of pass, disappointed in our final product. Um, but when it counted, we put a good corner in, Coombs, got on the end of it, and we got the three points. And ultimately, at this moment in time, that's what we're worried about, the, the points on the board, and that's another three for us. So I wouldn't run away with myself and say that we are, or we should have scored loads more, because I think they probably had the two or three best chances of the game. We had a couple of long-range efforts, but they, they put the scary ones in us and uh, perhaps should have scored one, um, which wouldn't have been unjust for them. It's just our momentum and our speed of play wasn't there today um, when, when they went down to 10. Before it was, but when they went down to 10. And that, that was a little bit disappointing, but I can't, like I said to them in the huddle at the end, I, I can be disappointed, the staff can, in terms of how we've done things, but they've got to enjoy the win because every win you've got to enjoy. Um, and they've got to look forward to Monday now, Carl at home. Well, you say how you've done things. You brought on Adam Combs and changed at the back with Clem going and uh, Barney coming into midfield. And ultimately, that's what led to the goal. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't necessarily say it was a super sub um, tactical change. It was a change that we knew we could do. It was a change we knew we needed. Um, we put Freddie and um, Coombs up top together. And then when we scored the goal, you know, we went back to what we was originally good at because we wanted to try and move the ball quicker. And uh, unfortunately, that, that fouled us a little bit. Not all the time, but the majority of the time. And I think we were just waiting for them to do something to affect us, i.e. score a goal. And then we feel sorry for ourselves. But the boys stuck with it, kept a clean sheet. Max made a fantastic save in the first half. Unbelievable save how he got across the goal. But we got the three points, clean sheet, we're happy. And then we move on to Monday against Carl Shorten. Oh, very quickly, before we both get soaked. Uh, Car Shorten on Monday, obviously yep. you have ties to the club. They may be uh, licking their wounds a little after taking them out of the FA Cup and the FA Trophy. What, you, what sort of game are you expecting? They've got quite a few new players, so I don't think that will really affect them. Pete's a good manager, a friend of mine as well. Um, I had a good time at the club, um, but I've moved on. I'm now at uh, an exceptional club uh, that helped me and every way I need. And I've got a great group of players, great staff with me. And we're looking to go and get three points again, which we do every game. If it doesn't work out, we lick our wounds and go again. But the boys have got to be confident. Apart from the, the, the certain details today, they've got to be confident because that's three wins out of four. Um, and onwards and upwards, we can't, we can't look um, what ifs. We look at what has. And, and what has happened today is we've won one nil. Deserved or not deserved, I don't care. It's three points to us. And we've got to keep continuing that. Fantastic. Right, I'll let you go. Don't get wet. <laughs>